Mark Bell from supertraining.tv. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Got Ryan Spencer doing some Cambridge bar squats along with a couple other guys. Um, notice they're doing a box squat. Box squat's pretty much what we're uh, always focused on at Super Training. We also do some free squats here and there, but the box squat, in our opinion, is one of the best ways to build up the squat. We feel it's a superior way to build up the squat, and one of the reasons for that is that you're going from a static position and you have to overcome it by a dynamic one. So you're stopping and you have to restart and uh, flex hard off that box and, and really try to try to get produce a lot of force to get some momentum so you can finish the lift as you're coming off the box. These guys are doing Thompson squats. That's why the weights are so heavy. Um, both Ryan Spencer and Greg Buffington, they both like to train pretty heavy. So this uh, method really suited them pretty well. You can see they're going off a fairly high box. It might be a little too high for how... Uh, for how short they are. You can see Brandon, who doesn't have as good a form as the other guys, he even looks higher. The form that you have is, uh, is crucial in terms of um, uh, getting down to uh, parallel and below parallel. You can see Greg looks much deeper, although Greg's much shorter. And, uh, here's Ryan, who uh, tends to squat a little bit more with his quads. He's gonna look higher as well. I mean, he's shorter than Greg, but still. Um, when you, when you get forward on the knees, sometimes it can look like a little bit higher of a squat. There's Brandon going again. This is Brandon's last day with Super Training, I believe. I think he's moved out. Um, I wasn't here on this day. I was busy uh, getting beat up by a refrigerator. So there's uh, a good strong lift by Greg. Hard to tell how many plates he has on there, but there's a lot. Looks like there's about six or seven plates on there. Both these guys are handling some big weights. Greg uh, competes at 198, and um, Ryan competes at 165. And uh, Brandon is uh, pretty brand spanking new to a lot of this, as you can see. And here we got Spence doing some pulls against some bands. Looks like he's uh, looks like he's doing some doubles and using a pretty good, you know, pretty heavy weight there. Got Brandon going here. Brandon's stance might be a little wide. See how he had trouble getting forcing the knees out. See how Spence is going with a more moderate stance so he can get his knees out and get that leverage that's necessary to pull the shoulders up and back even before you start to lift. Pull the slack out of the bar. That's actually a problem of Ryan's that he had for a little while there where he wasn't really pulling the slack out before he'd go and he'd just kind of tug on the weight. You can also see they're going on a deficit there. That's going to add some difficulty to the lift. We talk about deficit pulls quite a bit uh, here at Super Training. It's a huge, huge part of our program. We, we like them a lot. Um, one thing it's going to do is going to increase the range of motion of your lift. You see David Baffis doing some reps there. Uh, by increasing the range of motion, you're going to get more work in your grip. You're going to get more work in your lockout. You see how hard that was for Spence to lock that weight out. Um, you're also going to build a lot of uh, starting strength, a lot of strength off the bottom. There's Austin Baumgard hitting up some box squats with uh, Mr. Roboto. Mr. Robot Pants, his, uh, something we're trying to work on him with is uh, trying to keep his, his belt more forward when he squats. If you can kind of see him throughout this video, even just standing around, see how that belt line is, is severely pointed down at the ground. Some of that's just because he's so fat, but uh, the other part of that is just kind of the way that he's built. And um, you want to try to have that belt a little bit more forward. That's going to tell me that your hips are underneath the barbell a little bit better. So here he's trying to shove them forward. And there he's got the hips underneath the bar. And look at how easy he pops those weights up when the hips are in alignment with the barbell. Um, it's, it's crucial. Uh, being in the right position off the bottom of the squat is so weird. It actually helps. Um, it, but it also takes a long time to master. It takes years and years to master it. And, you know, I talked to Ed Cohn. I talked to a lot of other great lifters uh, through my magazine, Power Magazine. I'm fortunate enough to have those uh, contacts and talk to these different guys. And uh, you know, Ed says that's the number one thing is to... Um, not only learn how to squat, you know, not only have a coach show you how to squat, but you got to learn how to squat for yourself. And so Ed is a big proponent of just like grab the barbell and just squat. You know, he doesn't even really 
he's not necessarily even a fan of box squats, although he likes box squats. He'd rather see people just do a free squat, like just learn how to do a regular squat. And uh, that's something that we've been also working on at Super Training with a couple different guys. That was a very good squat right there. The shins were back, knees weren't coming real forward. But what you're going to notice is that when you start to try some of these things on your own, your knees, depending on your body type, they may have to come forward a little bit in order to keep your hips under the barbell. I mean, look at, uh, you know, I know he's a raw lifter, so things are going to be a little different when you're a raw lifter, but look at Andre Milanichev. You know, he's using his knees. You know, his knees are tr tracking forward. Look at, uh, um, look at Ed Cohn's old videos. His knees come forward as well. You're not going to die if your knees come forward. Your knee is actually meant to come forward. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to go up and down stairs or run, run hills or do any of that kind of shit. Whether we'd die, or even be in a, a three-point stance in football or anything like that. I mean, your knee—it's okay for your knee to come forward. Um, you won't go to hell. You won't get kicked out of your gym. One thing with uh, with uh, Mr. Robot Pants is he's so mobile through the hips that it's uh, almost limiting. Um, his, his hips, his knees track out almost too far, and so that can be an issue as well. So there's a couple different things we're going to have to, you know, work on with him. Um, having a very wide stance is a good way of doing it, and squatting on a low box to build up the strength of the hips because you already got the mobility. Um, but then also just, uh, just kind of locking in those hips a little better uh, by flexing the ass, flexing the glutes, and keeping the hips more forward. Um, that'll probably be the most useful thing. You can see he's really concentrated on it as he's going. The weight doesn't seem to be a problem. He's really concentrated on keeping that form and locking it in. There's Austin Baumgarten finishing out the day for us. And that's it from supertraining.tv.